Hey, what's up, guys? I'm in XNL, and today will be the review of the People You Ate Ultra. So now let's get at it. Okay, so I got this device from Mary Mobile. So if you want to buy it, go check them out at marymobiles.com. And I'm gonna have a link in the description box below to the People Ultra U8. Okay, and also I've done an unboxing. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'm gonna have an annotation on the screen about right now. Okay, so for the OS, well, nothing has changed from the original Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. So there's nothing on that. It's pretty fast, as you can see. I had no lag while playing like some games like Temple Run and watching Netflix. Uh, the Wi-Fi uh, connectivity is pretty fast also. It's as good as my iPhone 5 and my other phones. So well that's a plus. Okay so a downside uh, of this device is that it has um, only some physical buttons. Uh, well two over here as you can see. It is the escape and power button and also something that I didn't like is that Everything's at the same place as you can see everything's over here and there's nothing over here over here and over here So that's well something that I hated about this because I'm pretty um, used to my iPhone 5 and other tablets and Well, this was pretty weird to use. Okay, so now for a fast camera test Well, as you can see while the flash works, I'm just gonna point it towards the camera The flash work Okay, as you can see, as other uh, Android phones, I've never really seen a flash on a tablet, so that's uh, also a plus. And something uh, that's also good is that it had a, it has a reset button, so if you have a problem, just click it in it, and then um, the well, the device restarts, kind of like a fast reset. Well, you keep everything on your phone, so you won't have any problem. So that's also pretty good. Something that was also good is that it has HDMI and also a part where you can put in another a micro SD card So if you don't like the internal uh, ROM of 16 gig Well, you can head over and think you can put a maximum of 32 gig if I'm right and also HDMI quality is pretty good It's re real HD not like some other uh, devices from China Okay, so for some standby hours well, I had it once overnight I did it the same the next day and it didn't last for long. I had to charge it back uh, and it took about uh, two hours to have a full charge. So it's pretty good. And also, well, uh, just for normal use, well, the battery doesn't drain as fast. It looks like it drains faster when it's on standby, like seriously, but it's pretty good if you want to use it like outside or something. And it's also a pretty good alternative to the iPad mini, plus it has Android. And also something that I find of the OS is that you can pull over, down over here to see some notifications and you can also pull down uh, on the, this side to see uh, some settings like the brightness and you can access the settings over here emergency I can only have emergency calls because there's no um, sim part on this and also the rotation the battery life airplane Bluetooth and wireless display which is uh, also something cool of this device Okay, so now here's some gaming tests. I'm just gonna be playing a little bit of Fruit Ninja. You can see I can use all five of my fingers. Whoops. Okay, so the touch is pretty good. You won't have like any lag uh, while touching the screen, if you know what I mean. Like by example, sometimes you click and it doesn't appear, but this it appears right away. So as so it doesn't make this a uh, pretty cheap device. And I pretty suck at Fruit Ninjas, you can see, also see. So, and also I guess this is it for the review of the Pupil U8. It was another fast unboxing, I mean review. It was another fast review, okay. Good. I'm gonna have another unboxing, uh, maybe tomorrow after tomorrow, plus another review of that device the other week. And if you haven't seen it, well, go check it out. I'm gonna be giving away an FAEA F1. So go check it out. I'm gonna have an annotation on the screen right now in the link down in the description box below. And again, if you want to buy this uh, device, well, he well, head over to marymobiles.com and buy it. So I guess this is it for the review. So now, peace.